Hey, hey, it's me, Markel's World. Let's get to it. Tig and Nugs, we thought well, she was finally going to get a push. Let's gossip about her. We thought she was finally going to get a push. I thought that she was going to win the championship. Don't call me stupid. Yeah, we're here to gossip, but I don't think that, um, I don't know. Becky Lynch, her title reign has been a little stale. They haven't really booked her well, so I thought that Tegan Knox was going to win. And we were going to see this new champion who was going to somehow some way get over with the crowd i thought this was so this was going to be her opportunity for wwe to finally make her into a star i don't know let's gossip a lot of people on twitter they're not really talking about the match a lot of people are happy that becky lynch retained but um i don't know if tegan knox stands i'm not really seeing a lot of tegan knox stands and this is not to knock her. This is not to knock her at all. <laughs> but I don't really see a lot of people talking about her on Twitter. So I'm just gossiping. We like to gossip about Markel's world. This is something different than always just reporting. We like to gossip. Becky Lynch, who do you think she's going to face next? Who do you think she's going to face next? I don't know. Who who else is there to face for her? Who could she actually feud with? Um, I don't see them going with Tegan Knox on, the, you know, with a feud. Um, I don't know about Raquel. That would be two faces. I don't see them trying to do that. Maybe Nia Jax, since they are pushing her. Will she be the one that dethrones Becky Lynch? We are gossiping here at Markel's World. We love to gossip here. Raw, Monday Night Raw, get with it. So... Becky Lynch, she could maybe get dethroned by Nia Jax. That's what makes sense. They are pushing her to be this dominant female that is here to change the division. She is the one that people are expecting but aren't expecting. Why I say that is everybody... They know that Nia Jax, she will get another title run on this new contract that she has with WWE. This is her new run with WWE. She got terminated. She's back. So we know she's going to get at least one title run since she resigned. But everybody is so focused on Jade Cargo, which I'm happy for her. She is a star. I love her. But they're still forgetting that Jade's not even there yet. So you have to focus on what's going on now. So, that being said, I do think Nia Jax will be the one that dethrones Becky Lynch. I don't think it's going to be Jade. Um, I don't know. I don't even know if she's going to be on the main roster. Uh, I mean, I guess she is since she was shown on the Fastlane pre-show. But they have a lot of NXT people that show up on the main roster and pay-per-view events. So it's not like it matters. It's not like the brands are exclusive anymore where you only see the superstar on their exclusive brand. So it doesn't matter. People are on different brands all the time. So I, I can't tell if that one appearance on the Fastlane pre-show means she's on the main roster because there's a lot of NXT people that show up on pre-shows as well. Tegan Knox, I don't know what's next for her. I hope she doesn't go back to catering. Let's gossip. We don't want her back to catering, so we need to, I don't know. I'll pray for her, but this is Mark Hill's world. I think it's professional wrestling in my life. Sub on. I post at least three times a week. Um, I do think that Tegan Knox, she is like the Molly Holly of this generation. She's not known for her look. She's not a Tiffany Stratton. She's not a... Mandy Rose, she's not one of those, the Brie Bellas, the Nikki Bellas. She is known for her wrestling. So the Bellas, you know, they're, Nikki is known more for her wrestling these days. But um, you know what I mean. She wasn't like a bombshell like the other divas. So that being said, she should be pushed, but they're not really pushing her. You know, she could be like a Britt Baker, someone that is known for the wrestling and who's kind of known for her looks. Because a lot of people, just because they don't talk about her a lot about her looks, don't mean that people don't fantasize about her. They do have people like um, Britt Baker who like her too, but they don't just talk about her 
looks all the time. But we will see what happens with her. We're gossiping. This is Markel's world. But I want to gossip about everybody real fast. We'll see what happens. Becky Lynch, let's gossip about her. Her reign might be over soon. Doesn't she want to go to Hollywood? Or am I getting it mixed up with someone else? It seems like everybody in WWE, they want to stop wrestling and start getting that Hollywood check. And I don't, I don't blame them trying to get that Hollywood check. Ain't that what... Uh, Bianca Belair doing, trying to make sure her check coming from the Hollywood for four years from now when she stops doing this wrestling. So I don't blame Becky Lynch if that's the route she's going. I'm not sure if she was one of them that I heard that's trying to go that route. but um, Or she may want to settle down or she may want to continue wrestling. But that being said, this reign, I think she needs to lose the belt and come back with a bigger moment when she wins her next title and have some better competitors because they're not doing her. I don't even remember. Her title reigns are good. And this one, I just don't know. I don't remember most of her title matches. So it's not really going too well for me. So I hope they book her better. I hope they book her better. We will see what happens. But Nia Jax... I think it's going to be the one that dethrones her. Yeah, let's gossip about that. You guys are all, all talking about Jay, 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 Jay. She hasn't even debuted it yet, yet, you know, wrestling-wise. Yes, she was on the Fastlane pre-show backstage, but a lot of NXT people are there. We don't even know if she's the main roster, you know, since the brand split don't even mean anything since they're on all the rosters, every superstar. So I don't think it's going to be Jay that takes it from Becky. That's going to be, oh, the, I think the wrestling community is going to eat her up. they are be like, damn, she was the paparazzi's <laughs> and the limousine, and then that was her big debut, and now she just wins the title right away, and she skips NXT and wins the title. They, oh, no. let's You know, we love to get to here in Markel's world. They ain't going to let that happen. They ain't going to let her get that over without some kind of conflict you know wrestling you guys love the stories we all love the stories there has to be a challenge in the in the story there has to be some kind of challenge if you just get handed everything you win all your matches why do we care we don't sympathize so they if they were smart which, oh, oh, yeah, let's not even talk about it because creative can be a mess sometimes. But if they were smart, they would actually have Jade struggle a little bit before she wins her first title. I'm just saying. But we'll see. Jade, she's going to dominate for a little while. She's going to dominate. I have a feeling she's going to be, they're going to tease her for a while. Like Emma, they're going to tease her for a while. And she's going to be training. This is if she's on the main roster. If she's on the main roster, they're going to try to tease her maybe for five weeks or six. And, you know, tease her with promos. And then where she shows up sometimes and she interferes in matches, but she's actually not participating I can see that happening while they're training her. Or if she's in NXT, I can see her being in NXT for a year and a half and maybe having a four-month title reign. I don't know. I don't think they want her to be in NXT for a long, long time, but I do think they want her to have at least a title reign. So four months, four months to me would be a good amount. Not too short, not too long. But Jade, if she's on the main or NXT, she's going to be a star. She's going to be a star, but... This Mark Hill's world. Hopefully all three women, they have... This is exciting. They all have all different directions. Tegan Knox, hopefully they do a character change. Becky Lynch, she doesn't need a character change. I don't think she needs a character change. Becky Lynch is just Becky Lynch at this point. Everyone knows her and her persona. I just think that these opponents were lacking for her and she deserved better. But, um... Becky Lynch, I could see another tag team um, title reign. Her as a tag team title champion. I do like that with her. She does make a good tag team champion. I do like seeing her with the tag belt. So I hope for her and Lee to get it again. That would be good. That would be good. Hopeful thinking. And lastly, because we never know, maybe Trish is not done with her run. She may come back in three months, and that's when Lita returns, and that's when... The titles get back involved with Becky Lynch and Lita again. But um, 
Jade, she's going to be a star if she's in NXT or the main roster. She's going to eventually be a star in the main roster if she goes to NXT, but you know what I mean. But Markel's World, all things professional wrestling in my life. I post at least three times a week, two times on video, once off. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.